Rehabilitation continues on the Binghamton Johnson City Joint Sewage Treatment Plant and board members are satisfied with how things are going. The board met Tuesday afternoon to look at upgrades regarding updates rather regarding repairs that have been they've been working to finish as part of a five year long major renovation. Recent repairs include replacing valves that were not installed correctly, addressing a slow leak inside the plant, and furthering the plan to help the plant process sewer and stormwater better. The plant's phosphorus and nitrogen levels are the best the board says it has ever seen. Finance Committee Chairman Edward Crum says the entire project is about 90 to 95 percent complete. Some of the last parts of it um, take some, some more tuning, for example, the automation system, which was discussed at the, uh, the meeting today, uh, in particular a chem scan unit that uh, is monitoring various parameters in the waste stream and how they change. The final projected cost of the rehabilitation has decreased slightly over recent months, down to just below $275 million. The date when this project is expected to be finally complete is difficult to figure because new issues appear so frequently. Board members say they cannot project how much the project is going to impact local ratepayers because municipalities set their own sewer rates.